using oxygen safely. If you have a lung problem such as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD or pulmonary fibrosis, you might have low oxygen levels. If so, you may need extra oxygen or oxygen therapy. Oxygen therapy is given using special equipment. This animation tells you about using oxygen safely. You receive extra oxygen through plastic tubing connected to an oxygen concentrator or tank. The tubing comes in different lengths. If it is very long, you may want to hold the extra tubing while moving around your home, get tubing that lies flat, or consider other ways to manage it. Avoid letting the tubing get stuck, which can stop the oxygen flow. An oxygen concentrator pulls air from the room around it and concentrates it into almost pure oxygen. Keep some space around your stationary oxygen concentrator so air can circulate around it. It should also be away from walls or furniture because it gives off heat. You may want to place it in a different room than you sleep in so the warmth and noise do not bother you. Let your local fire and police departments know there is supplemental oxygen in your home. This helps protect them and you in case of an emergency such as a fire. You can also place a sign on your door saying oxygen is in use. Make sure your smoke detectors work and you have at least one fire extinguisher in your home. You can ask your power company for a priority service listing. They may restore your electricity earlier in an outage. Having a backup source of oxygen is important in case of emergency. If you depend on a concentrator that plugs into the wall, your supplier should provide a backup oxygen system in case of a power outage. Carry extra portable oxygen concentrator batteries, a car charger, or extra oxygen tanks when you leave home, so you always have a backup oxygen supply. Keep the phone number for your oxygen supplier in a place that is easy to find. Make sure any caregivers know where it is. Also, keep other important numbers nearby, such as the number for your doctor's office. Keep your phone charged and with you so you can get help quickly. In a car, place your oxygen in a secure place where it cannot tip over. You can use a seatbelt to hold it in place. Never leave oxygen in a hot car or store it in the trunk. Keep a window open slightly while traveling to allow air to circulate. Do not smoke or ride with anyone who smokes. Before flying, check on your airline's rules for portable oxygen concentrators. Each airline is different. Contact them at least 48 hours before your flight. You cannot use oxygen tanks on a plane. Your healthcare provider may need to fill out forms for you to use your concentrator. You also need enough backup batteries for your entire travel time, plus extra in case of delays. For travel by bus, train, or cruise ship, be sure to contact the ticket office well ahead of time to discuss any requirements. Be sure to bring your oxygen prescription with you. Some companies offer cruises specifically for people who use oxygen. Avoid oil-based lip balms, makeup, and lotions. Products with oil or petroleum jelly are flammable. You can use aloe vera or another water-based moisturizer. Oxygen does not explode or burn by itself, but it does feed fires. Keep oxygen at least six feet away from open flames. Avoid anything that is burning or may spark, including cigarettes, pilot lights, barbecue grills, hair dryers, matches, and lighters. If you cook on a gas stove, move the cannula tubing so it goes down your back. Use the cool setting on a hair dryer. Keep the oxygen tank you are using stable. Do not let it roll around or bump into things. Ask your oxygen supply technician to show you how to store your tanks. Keep tanks in a well-ventilated area. If they crack or the valve breaks off, they can be dangerous. It is a good idea to have signs around your home saying that oxygen is in use. Put them in obvious places.